Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Northern Lion Live Super Sunday subscriber stream. is Sunday, July 21st, 2019. I like a month. By popular demand, we're going to be playing Indigo Prophecy. I'm a little insulted, to be honest, that everybody's going, do the tutorial, do the tutorial, do the tutorial. Of course I'm going to do the tutorial. Little administrative note. I don't believe Indigo Prophecy used to be illegal to play on Twitch. It was against the Twitch Terms of Service to play a game that good. However, I read through the banned games list. It's not on there. By the way, if you ever want to laugh and maybe also be a little bit sad, read through the list of explicitly banned games. A lot of games with some truly horrible names that you would be like, why on earth would you ever... Like, somebody played that on Twitch and then... A Twitch wrench had to be like, okay, fine. Yes, okay, you can't play uh, I'll fuck you, then kill you on Twitch. All right, fine. I would have thought that it would be self-evident, but apparently not. It's finally happened. Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. David Miyazaki has no compunction whatsoever about his video games being called movies. Literally says, hey, start me off with a new movie here. It has a billboard for the game itself inside of the game's original screen. It has a dystopian bookstore. Still open, by the way. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, and then, but they're selling TVs. It's a metaphor, sweetheart. Okay. It's Digital David. Hi, my name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fahrenheit. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. Let's begin with something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. Do you think he wore his favorite pair of pants for digitalization? I love a jean that has knee pockets. Wow. Dude, do you think this is part of the inspiration for Detroit to uh, become human? You also have to interact with your environment. Go to the door. Okay. Go to the door. This is the classic David Cage problem. Green door. David. Oh, oh, it's just this. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? I do. It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. All right. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. I think Go I ahead. read this in the Kama Sutra. He's done it! Can That's I get the cool. DGDQ now overlay, please? Move about, use the cameras and interact with the environment. Any percent, a hundred percent flawless door opening. Fortnite has action sequences where your character's life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you before you find yourself on your own. I really like David's... Uh, Accent and that's not a joke at his expense There's action sequences Ooh. When this symbol appears at the top of the screen it means your character is gonna have to make a physical effort You'll see you'll be exhausted, too. <laughs> I hope not. Oh Dude hanging leg raises, okay. I Understand it's not really fair. I hey, mean, he has no abs, bad. but... Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find yourself facing all kinds of dangers in Fahrenheit. You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Let's see how it works. Push the analog stick in the directions indicated by the prompts. Yo, this is when the, uh... Excuse me, that's BS. I hit the button. That's what can happen if you don't have good reflexes. Try again. This is, uh... When the Mario Kart music starts playing in Mario Maker. Yo, this is bullshit. Okay, never mind. It's both oh, analog damn. sticks. I'm Another dumb. Try. You think about everything, don't you? He's done it. It's both analog sticks. That's my bad. Now, let's talk about your mental health. Oh, finally. In Fahrenheit, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. <laughs> Take care of your character. Just like Otherwise real life. You may fall into depression, madness, or even commit suicide. David, oh, the, the world was not ready for this in 2009. All the main characters. Be careful. 
Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice. Thank 2005. You you act. That's actually a really cool tutorial. Also very quantic. I, I agree with you on that, but if you're going to lean into an aesthetic, you should lean into your own aesthetic 100%, just like they did. Things Having David come out to explain the game to you. We think we understand the world It's the perfect us, way to start. We really only see the outside, what it seems to be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics. Soap commercials? But one day, the world kicks you in the teeth. And you don't have any choice but to see things the way they really are. Birth of an insect. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it that was collar is pretty extraordinary. Maybe it was my destiny. Did you buy it on Tatooine? Whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. It is sad, Keanu. <laughs> Fat? Fart? Okay, it's Fahrenheit. It all started right here. Bit Where else could it happen? New York, ah, capital yeah. of the universe. The chessboard Rob destiny narration. chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, and my life descended into chaos. It is a little Max Payne. -y. I also feel like this is exactly how Heavy Rain started, except it was uh, with obviously rain instead of snow. And I think it was a piece of garbage flying through the streets instead of a bird. Yo, that di this looks exactly like um, that part in Detroit where, uh, as the robot mother, you're trying to figure out what to do with the kid. Do you go into the diner or do you steal the clothes from the laundromat? And of course, it would not be a David Cage game if you did not open on a shot of somebody using the bathroom. Oh. Somebody's filleting a fish in there. Yeah, no, I, I get it. <laughs> Ooh, and then the, the moody shot with the candles, too, huh? He's got predator vision. You gotta say, this man's incredible hygiene habits are gonna be the death of him. There's something very sad about that. I'm starting to think that this man may be struggling with some form of mental illness, but I'm not sure if the game has given me the tools to divine that yet. Also, D-Claw, thank you for the gifted subscription. Set. I'm a little concerned that what you've seen so far motivated you to that extent. But if this is my burden to bear, then bear it I will. The bird is there, huh? What, what have I done? I think I killed a guy. I know I killed a guy. I, I didn't want... It was like a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine, etc., etc. Okay. Ooh, it's a freak. Judge Dredd is here. Quick. I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Okay, hands washed. Um, look at yourself. Ooh. Every girl's crazy about a sharp dress man. Now, I mean, we gotta we gotta clean this blood up. Oh, let's go. 
Um, yes, mop the floor, please. Uh, keep. Sweep the floor? No, let's put it back. All right, I got it. I got it. Do I, do I have to give you a little... Oh, I gotta give you more. I understand. Okay. That's I'm just learning my way around the ropes here. Less anxious. Or less depressed, at least. That's good. Alright, put that back. Um, I really think you should close this, this bad boy up, honestly. I'm bleeding. Did he just do the... <laughs> cut my wrist with the knife. Did the OK symbol? Both of my forearms are cut, too. Alright, just flush yourself. Oh, no, David! You're leaving so much DNA on the scene. Beautiful. Okay. Now I gotta wash my hands again, dude. <laughs> Not with that one! Oh, they won't let me wash with this one anymore because it's already... Okay, well, at least dry him. Just, just bake all the piss right on. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, geez louise, what's going on with this, uh... Oh, must be that time of the month, right, brother? By the way, see you later. Problem solved. Probably a good time to run. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. And that's how my story ends. The police found blood on my clothes and arrested me. So I'll be spending the rest of my days rotting in some prison. I'll continue for my last save, please. <laughs> well, that's how my story ends. All right, okay, let's... You took too long in the bathroom? Well, the, honestly, I feel like the tutorial didn't do what it needed to do. And just walk out. Don't run. Running is bad for business. Walking, not a top of the morning to your officer. Sir. The waitress, she noticed something. Have a nice day. She's gonna say have a nice day. Yes? I think that you might have forgotten to pay your bill. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, hmm, yes, my the mistake. Bill for Neil, how could I forget that? Okay, we're looking for a bus or a subway station then? Taxi, even better. Hey, taxi! Before uh, Uber existed, it was much harder to get away with murder. You needed to call Yellow Cab in advance. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your IDs. Doc's diner. That's it. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, I can tell we're due for another nuanced day. character right here. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to <laughs> this car weighs like four it. pounds. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. What are you talking about? <laughs> I guess because he went to the bathroom and was killed, but... But, like, what do, what do you mean pissing's bad for your... Nobody's ever said that. It's pretty funny seeing you on the job at this hour, Tyler. What, you fall out of bed? Yeah, don't make me laugh, Gary. My lips are chapped. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Don't make me laugh. My lips are chapped. You look hammered, Tyler. What? Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon, though. <laughs> you don't know Carla. 
she's capable of keeping everybody up till breakfast. Man, she is by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. She's a cop? You know, like... It seems like a decent skill to have. Oh, excuse me, this is the men's bathroom? I'm just saying, if we did a little thought experiment and switched the roles here, this would be very disconcerting. And this illuminates a problem. Hey, look at me. Look at me. This illuminates a problem that I have with society now, Carl. Okay. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. Yeah, I forgot to clean that. But I don't know. Am I the cop or am I the killer? Or in true David fashion, are all men both cop and killer? In the area of the heart. There's absolutely no difference between good and evil, you idiot. You absolute moron. right oh here we go good evening sir whoa <laughs> hey uh, babe <laughs> what can I do for you um seen anything Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual did I see something uh, I don't see nothing this is Mads Mikkelsen. By the business. You know, uh, you really shouldn't be outside tonight. It's freezing cold. If you want, I could have them come and pick you up and... Oh, leave me alone. I'm just fine. I don't need no <laughs> I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Ooh, whoops. Screwed that one up pretty bad. I saw someone! Is he wearing like a Hulk Hogan style do-rag? Yeah. Or rather, something. Nobody remembers. Or is his hair just I coming through him. his hat? I saw him come out the back door. Oh, it was evil. The devil himself. What did he look like? Can you describe him? Uh, who? Uh, who? You drink too much, baby. You, you, you're talking nonsense. <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. We still haven't found the murder weapon. The door only opens from the inside. Okay, I've played enough video games to realize if the door only opens from the inside, that means that's David's way of telling us we have to stay out here. Until we find something. It's not in the dumpster. It's not out here, or you could just walk around to the front. I mean, you would think so, but unfortunately I got trapped. This is before David mastered his craft. Oh, okay. Well, but what changed out here? I also, I, I no longer have camera control. Maybe we can only go in through the window now? Oh, there, okay, we got the camera back. There's your problem. Ambulance hitbox. Softlock. This is David's Mario Maker level. Somebody killed Luigi. Okay, open the door. Just open the door for Carla. Don't you go outside and close that door, Tyler! Hello, Carla. Welcome back. Um, oh, I thought that was actually just a peeing dude. 
the third stall. Don't, don't, oh god. But why? But why? That's true, this man was stabbed to death with a steak knife. That's a... Uh, not the best way to go. There's a grate in the floor. While you are correct, it appears irrelevant, temporarily speaking. You gotta try. Tyler? What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No. This is a crime scene. It's like legitimately... I don't know if I'd call it sexual harassment, but it crosses the line. Oh, we made her more stressed! Inspect the vent in the stall with Carla. Oh, you genius. It's always the first level of any David game is learning the language of what we need. Killer used his silverware to stab his victim. That would seem to indicate that the murder. Now that we know what we need, we can do better in the future. Tyler, there's a knife hidden here. It might be the murder weapon. Get Garrett. Make sure he checks for prints and identifies the blood on the blade. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. Yep. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> this bed is just absolutely coated in blood. I wasn't dreaming. It all really happened. I I'm gonna get ready and go to work. You have a treasure chest in your room, my man. Feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. Gotta make it stop. Feels like somebody shoved a steel bar in my brain and then melted it. My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. Dude, were you born in like the 1920s? The picture was taken like before the Great Depression. It was taken when you had to stand still for like two weeks to get your photo taken. The sheets are full of blood. I can't go back to bed. Plus it's a weekday. I'm not tired anyway. Some of us have to work for a living. Video games notch up new victims. The investigation into the carnage at the Chicago High School has made significant progress over the past few days. By the way, can this website like work on its its font and spacing please several dozen violent video games were found in the rooms of the two adolescent killers the investigators are in no doubt about the link with the killings these video games are extremely violent easily influenced adolescents try to reproduce the same scenes in real life a policeman is reported to have said several associations have already announced they're going to demand a law forbidding all video games for players under the age of 18. The responsibility of the arms dealer who sold them the weapon is not in question. The problem is not the availability of weapons, declared a spokesman for the National Gun Owners Syndicate. Every American citizen has the right to buy and bear firearms. The real problem is those video games. They are a veritable threat to our youth. You may have heard that Fox News recently said that Bulletstorm might be the worst game ever made due to its high levels of ultra-violence and disturbing imagery. Well, first off, Fuck you, Fox News. And if you think that's motivated by any kind of political affiliation, it's not. I'm a Canadian citizen living in South Korea, so I could really care less if Fox News is a hateful, right-wing, propaganda-peddling bullshit machine. The reason I say fuck you to Fox News, and in fact, fuck you to any major news network that reports bullshit like this about video games, is because I take issue with the terms ultraviolence and disturbing imagery. You know why? Because those complaints could just as easily be lodged against network news. Every single night, the top story on almost every major network is the newest rampage murder death kill in America. If murder was a 12-inch dick, 
Network News would have two hands and a tongue on it every single night. Fox News is murder porn. So do I think Fox News is calling Bulletstorm the worst game ever made because it's worried it's going to corrupt the nation's youth? Not at all. I think they're worried that maybe they have some competition. <laughs> David, David was woke. Extremely true. My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about It's that. not a David game. Unless... You see the main character bathing. No nudity, please. Censored YouTube edition. A lot of restraint so far. I have not seen a single ass. And then, of course, you, you know... What you got going on in here? Oh, some dental force. Yo, looking fresh, dude. Ready to join the Mortal Kombat cast. <laughs> Whew, a little scary. Also, where did that washing machine come from? I will say... He kind of nailed rich douchebag apartment. Just an electric guitar, punching bag. After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Well, then why did you give me the option to click on it, David? New York police, please open the door. I will open the door. Please. They know. They've come to arrest me. I will open the door. That's the bathroom. Police. Open up. Cover up the Just bed. Minute, Genius move. Genius move. I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Sir, this is the New York police. Cover the bed! I insist that you open this door immediately. He's done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What else, what else could have linked us to last night? We don't have the murder weapon. If you do not open the door right now, put a shirt on. Be forced to knock it down. You gotta put a shirt on, you gotta hide the bandages. Genius, genius. You don't have to open the door unless they have a warrant. I don't know if David would have programmed that into the game. This is your last warning. No, it's Open not. I got, I got like at least a third of the time left. Down. I mean, to be honest, he might have a warrant. Like, I was at the restaurant yesterday. Whoa, he's so tiny! There's a bloody shirt behind the pillar. Ah! Skirt! Toss that in the laundry machine. I'm not a monster. Is it, we're not gonna make it, dude. Sorry, officer. I was uh, I was sleeping. In many ways. Don't move. And that's how my story ends. New York police. Please open the door. The police. They know. They've, they've come to arrest me. I, I'm sorry to make you wait like that. I, I was in the shower. Are you Lucas Kane? Yes. Mr. Kane, the neighbors heard yelling from your apartment. Is there a problem? Uh, no shouting, dude. Yelling? No, there must be some mistake. I'm alone. Look here. at me. I'm wearing a cable knit sweater. Would it be all right if I took a little look around your apartment? Um, you you don't have a warrant, so you may not. Listen, I, I promise you, everything's fine. Uh, do you mind if I just go ahead and look around anyway, sir? Um, whatever. Go ahead. Wow. Okay. I guess my rights as a sovereign citizen don't matter. What happened to your wrist, sir? Oh, it's nothing. Just a stupid accident. Holy cow. When you cut yourself, you go all the way, don't you? Hey, 
Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, sorry to bother you. Hey, uh, can no, I have your badge number? Everything that's been going on, uh, we prefer to be careful. Just wonder if the NYPD would be Long interested to know that you're uh, breaking my constitutional rights and privileges. You let him in? No, I said fine, whatever. That's two different, uh, two different things. Oh my God. Theory of a dead man, say goodbye. Theory of a dead man, Santa Monica. I remember the day. Theory of a... It's all theory of a dead man, dude. Back in the day, David got four theory of a dead man songs. Honestly, like... If I had never played David Cage games before... I would already realize that I was in for a ride. Because my man is so passionate about Theory of a Dead Man, he put them in the game. That's not the kind of band where you typically... You're like, oh, you guys gotta hear this. She drenched my bed in gasoline. The park. When Marcus and I were kids, we were in Brother, it's minus 10 it's Celsius. You might want, like, at least a hat or something. We kind of grew apart after he became a priest. But he's still the only person I really trust. Like, this is not... The only one who might believe that I had nothing to do with all this mess. Like, survivable. But come on. I'm happy to see you. I missed you. Uh, it's been a while. yes. Two of course. years. He's a priest. So tell me what's happened, Lucas. I've killed a man, Marcus. It happened at a restaurant last night. It's like I was possessed in a sort of trance, like I was a puppet on a string. I saw what I was doing, but I was powerless to stop it. My God. I can't believe this, Lucas. Tell me that it wasn't you. You're not capable of- Also, keep like it that. down. Are you insane? You went to this restaurant alone? Yeah. Tiffany and I, we broke up about a month ago. You know I've been going through a hard time. Possible. It's just so empty there without her, you know. And there's this, too. You cut your wrists? Before the murder, I, I carved these symbols on my arms with a knife. I don't know if they mean anything. Had you been drinking or taking drugs? You know that I don't do that, Marcus. I'm not a monster. Were there any witnesses? Did anyone see you? Probably. He did have three beer bottles in his apartment. Police still haven't identified it's not like that puts him in a position where he's not capable of understanding what he's doing, but like, he did say, you know I don't do that stuff. There's something else you need to know. A little suspicious. I know this sounds crazy, but after the murder, I, I had these premonitions, like I was seeing things that hadn't happened yet. While I was doing this horrible thing, I saw something, or... Or rather someone was somebody else there with you no it was it was like a well vision. except for the victim I saw a man in the middle of hundreds of candles and and there was this little girl what happened to me Marcus what am I supposed to do now you well, know first off anyone Marcus. shut up me we're in Central Lucas, Park Lucas I I'm a bit lost here there's tens of thousands of people so around us right now maybe you need some professional help. Most cases of possession are known to actually stem from psychiatric problems and... Marcus, I don't have a psychiatric problem. I'm not crazy. I am a priest, Lucas. I know that you have taken a life is a very serious matter. I told you that it wasn't me, Marcus. All these years and nothing's changed. You still never listen to me. Lucas. Don't ask me to make a choice between my faith and my brother. I'm not a murderer, Marcus. <laughs> what? You're the only person I can trust. I'm just asking you to believe me. Very well. I'll do whatever I can for you, but I can't do anything that goes against my beliefs. Look, I, I need to get some answers. I'll, I'll call you. Here. You need this more than I do. Oh, hell yeah! You know that I don't believe in all that. Oh, obviously taken. 
Thanks. Now that was a surprise. <laughs> we had lives this whole time? <laughs> I have no idea what happened in that scene, just for the record. I killed the guy. Never mind, you never listen to me. Thanks for the one up. He's going to slip on the ice. I've got to stop him. The cop in the restaurant. If I don't do something, the child will die. If I do do something, the cop will recognize me. What am I going to do? <laughs> How deep is the water? Well, I mean, I got to try to save the kid, obviously. That's right, I have lives. <laughs> it's like 20 is. feet He's deep. Lost consciousness. Oh my god. Quick. I've got to go back up before I run out of air. Please! Haha, <laughs> you will be out of breath too. Oh, this again, huh? Now, where are the parents? See ya. It's the perfect crime. Hey, I know who you are. Don't move. And thus my story ends, because by the stupidest of chances, I happen to run into the cop from the restaurant as he made his rounds. Of I I saved him. You have to give him mouth to mouth as well. You gave up and ran away. There were cops there. He won't be able to see your face if you're giving mouth to mouth to the child. First you listen. First you go, is his heart beating? Doesn't matter. His heart. No longer beating. Quick. Maybe it's not too late. Yeah, yeah, hit him with the quick little one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. Sorry. One, two, three. Troll 324, <clears throat> kid just fell into the water. Send an ambulance right away. Man, what courage. The kid would have died. That guy's a hero. He dove into freezing water to save the kid. The kid never would have made it out of there without him. The He's right above there. the law. We both knew it. It's hard to say why he didn't turn me in. Maybe he decided I was even. I like the way he's walking like the David Blaine sketch. Nothing really changed for me. I was still wanted for murder by the but when I left that park, I knew I could look myself in the mirror again without cringing. Hi, Carla. How you doing today? Hi, Doug. Not too bad. Is Tyler here yet? No, not that I know of. So, ready for that big retirement? Oh, he's dead. Nah, working on it. <laughs> yes, can we get an F in chat for that man, please? <laughs> As soon as a, a, a character, especially a man, talks about like, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. 35 years on the force, I've been looking forward to it. Me and the missus are gonna buy a sailboat, sail it to the Caribbean. You're like, oh, he was too young. Yeah. Know what time it is? Oh, shit. Get a move on. The waitress is coming this morning to flesh out the composite on the killer. Just picture David at his office in like 2003 typing out, Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so sad. Um, You gotta check the filing cabinet. Please be a gun. Some magic card? She got her V card? Okay. It's AF yeah, five V bucks, dude. Man. 
can. Stay a little longer. Mm, sorry, babe, but I really gotta go. It's like I'll make some coffee. Okay. I'll Lava lamp, dressed, complete 1970s decor, shag carpet, bearskin rug. It's broad daylight outside. I think I'm a little early. A statuette of socks. One of the characters in my favorite video game. Man. I love watching her when she's sleeping. I've known her for two years now. She still rocks my world the way she did the first time I ever saw her. That's... That's nice. Oh, I don't know if I should have done this. I thought you were in a hurry. Hey, I always got two minutes for you, babe. Only two minutes? Ah! <laughs> as soon as I went back, it hit me with the ground. Get the get the. I, I just I'm I'm just listening for now. I, I just want to make sure I'm not gonna get banned. So they're doing it, yeah. Socks is watching. Zooming in on a photo of his parents for whatever reason. Oh my god. Keeps going, but like, sharp cut. Okay, so I think it just uh, keeps going. All right. I don't know why he got more stressed, but okay, they won't let me do it again. It would have been great, though. Oh, yeah. First a nice shower. Man. Quantic Dream, they're really like hyper-literalists. It's like, you dumbass. Hey, you're a good-looking guy. You try to get dressed before you shower? We got an X card. You gotta shower first, dummy. Don't forget to pee as well. Quantic Dream is like, it's Cinema Sins the game. We did not see Tyler urinate once in the entire game. Despite the fact that we see him drink over four liters of coffee. Okay, 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 it's all good. They went into a different room. I actually, I thought 100% she was going to pop into the shower. It was the only thing that made sense. Hi, Tyler. Oh, uh, Carl is looking for you. Yeah, I know. So, you ready for retirement, man? Yeah, <laughs> I'm working on it. So it's just like as as the man walks around, it's just like funk music just follows him around. Ooh, 
<laughs> it's a good song. Don't get me wrong. It's just a little... <laughs> it's just a little bit, like, on the nose, you know? Hey, Tyler. What do you know? Just the guy I was looking for. You remember that hundred bucks I loaned you about six months ago? I'd really like for you to get that back to me as soon as possible. He puts his badge Maybe on now, under his tie? Example? Jeffrey, don't tell me you're prepared to ruin a beautiful friendship for a hundred lousy dollars. This may surprise you, but yes. So give up the cash before I start to get really angry. <laughs> Yo, let me make you a deal. I'll play you a game of b-ball for your hundred bucks. If you win, I'll give you two hundred bucks right then. But if you lose, we cool. You'll give me two hundred bucks if I win. A game of you basketball. Got my word, man. All right, you're on. But don't even think about not paying me if you lose, because that... Don't worry, Jeffrey. I'll come by and see you when I get five minutes. Let's do it right now. I'm ready. Pleasure. Penis enlarger. Gain up to five inches of sheer pleasure. <laughs> Why would I want a six inch dick? <laughs> you stupid. Millions already infected. Install the attached file to prevent the infection of your system. Your friends at QuanticDreamSoftware.com Tyler, I'm sorry I has to do with my worries this morning. It was stupid of me. I'm so terrified that something might happen to you that I sometimes forget how important your work <laughs> is to you. <laughs> It seems important. Hope that one day I'll be able to convince you to change your life. Love you, Sam. Life sentence is for 200 peer-to-peer -peer pirates. I, I get it. I get it. I get it, David. Okay. David, I bought it on Steam. You're preaching to the choir, okay? I mean, I gotta... Let's let's keep rolling Tyler for just a minute here. I want to I wanna see the composite. That has I mean, all the hallmarks of a classic Hello, quantic dream sketch. Thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please take a seat. Now we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. It's the only we have a clothing you own, huh? to help us. You'll see it's really simple. It's kinda like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? Have you no. ever made a video game? Ah, it doesn't matter. You're gonna do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go. As you can tell, the story demands that I'm pretty dumb. Is this your killer? Is that Salvador Dali? This isn't right. No comment. I like, okay, well, I, I literally don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, now, is this the face of the person you saw? Um, no. no. That's not quite him. No problem. We'll try again. Now concentrate. It is pretty close, honestly. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it look like me if possible. Gotta start with the hair. Everything else is gonna come into focus if we get the hair correct. Really, okay. That's insulting, but we'll go with it. Dude, it's like looking into a mirror. Let's see, can we do any better with the head? <laughs> I mean, that's pretty. It's <laughs> it's pretty close, dude. 
It's deep fake. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yes. At least, th that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, <laughs> trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video game. Well, that might screw up the whole game, but who knows. <laughs> Please close the door, you madman. <laughs> I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. You ever hear about Tylenol, brother? I couldn't keep any food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know what. I'm ready. He's done it! Come. Lucas, is there a problem? No, I, I, I just thought it seemed so real. I saw that coffee cup fall. Look out! Jesus Christ! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I need to get your oxygen levels. Again? What are you talking about? My O2 is 89. No, it's not. Oh, you're right. It happened. Just like I'd seen it. Like the cop in the apartment. Is it possible? You're gonna I clean that up? Things before you slob? <laughs> Work is hell. What on earth is a tiny crab claw? Uh, it appears we got a bug in the mainframe. Move. Okay. Oh, I screwed it up. I'm sorry. No, he's getting bodied. He's done it. Oh, this is tough. Me trying to hide from the cats after I open a can of tuna and they think it's wet food. Oh, he's going up again! <laughs> Please. Oh my god, all, all of my accrued one ups. What is happening? I'm, this is impossible. This is the hardest video game I've ever played. I need a hundred percent focus. Radios, let me out, dude. It never ends. Please! <laughs> oh my god! I'm mostly mad I, I don't get to watch the screen because of all the high octane inputs I gotta put in. Both sides. 
sides of the snake. No! No! Lucas? Lucas? And that's what how my you? story ah! ends. Can you hear me? Are you all right? Hey, you've hurt yourself. Dude, he has a band-aid really? on his face, like Nelly. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened. The one thing I do know, those things almost killed me. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Well, the blade was driven in deeply. The stabs I'm ready. Have been delivered from the Bile? And moved from left to right. Body. Textbook. The murderer was left handed. Oh no, it is me! One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right. My man has a brain in a jar. I, huh? uh, saw a or is that a lava lamp? Before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Was it, was it Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Um, let's play some cool. Oh, yeah, I... Dude, is this theory of a dead man? I'm gonna lose my mind. Is that? Seems to me I've lived my life on the wrong side of the road. I know this one. This is like a be perfect be careful what you wish for. Dude, it's like I'm playing along. Get to the bathroom. That's where I saw him. His name was Satan. He wasn't even pissing. He's the devil of the diner. You're gonna make you murder your friend. I have no idea. We gotta check Bossa at least. Ooh! It's uh, candle selling music. It's like a good song that they turned into an acoustic version to play in department stores so that shoppers weren't threatened by real art. We're still going, phase two! Whatever, I'm done. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's just all quick time events. My man, bare knuckle boxing in a freaking cable knit sweater. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gassed. I'm gassed, okay, let's go. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, I screwed it up in a big way. Oh my god. <laughs> it does look like kebab. 
It's it's let me out, dude. It's three doors down, or it's it's there even dead man. I'm trying to want to lose my channel. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a very good uh, description. I love how Quantic Dream's idea of pacing is just to have uh, some parts of the game be boring. Also, why are your windows open? It's minus ten. It's minus ten. <laughs> this is gonna be good. school uniform. <laughs> that little girl again. She seems so real. I must be losing my mind. Hey Reddit, had another dream about Stacy's last night. No, sorry. Sorry Carla, you can't bench press. You have to climb the rope. Okay, I'm warmed up. I'm ready to get in the ring. Um, obviously, for this to not be troubling, I will be playing as Carla. Tonight's match between Terrible Tyler Miles and Killer Carla Valenti. Oh, yeah. And who's always kicking out the crap about me acting like a kid all the time? This is directed like Catwoman. I'm ready. Oh my god. Please keep in mind, I gotta focus really hard so that we can see maximum gameplay. I wanna just screw some up. <laughs> he punched her! He punched her right in the crotch! Pretty messed up, Tyler. Man, I, I had no idea. That man is dead, by the way. I had no idea that Detroit was actually David at his most mature and restrained. This is insane. We can afford to screw some up. How long is this song? He's like, no, seriously, I'm I'm on the verge of death. Please stop hitting me. Okay, that's not cool. Shit, girl. How'd you do that? 
I was raised in the Shaolin Monastery. The monks told me all the evil secrets of Kung Fu. What? No shit? Hey, <laughs> Tyler, you don't believe anything I tell you. Yo, nothing about you surprises me now, woman. Did she just do an Asian accent and say she was raised in a Shaolin monastery? Why did I hit the try, dude? I'm just gonna screw it up ten times. Oh my god! Tyler! You, <laughs> you're gonna kill her, dude! Jesus Christ! This is just absolutely way beyond what's actually called for. Give her a roundhouse kick to the jaw. <laughs> this one's too much. Like that, she actually would have like CTE. I wish I'd never said we try. See, that's fine. You just, you just, Jeep couldn't do it. Yeah, you're pretty good. I schooled you, bitch. You're not so bad yourself. So you, you want to go again? That's not what the subtitle said. <sighs> no, I'm done. I'm gonna grab a she said, yeah, and you're pretty good. Work. I schooled you, bitch. Of course. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. <laughs> you're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way! You know we're not allowed to play in there! That's where they're working on the atom bomb! We're through that hole in the fence, like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it! Are you coming with us, Lucas? Smart kid, what happened? <laughs> Let's see them aliens. They can't stop all of us. If we Quantic Dream run, their bullets can't hit us. I'm ready, I'm ready. Um, my bad. I thought I... And you're four. It's gonna burn. Marcus and the others I thought I did it fire. right, but Quick, my mistake. We've got to save them before it's too late. Sir, my brother and some other kids are in Hangar 4, and it's going to burn. You've got to go help them, please. Go on. Get out of here, kid. I don't have time for games. It's the truth, I swear it. Help me, please. You've got to help me. <laughs> no point wasting any more time. No one's going to believe me. I have to warn Marcus and the others myself. Yeah. No, right through there. Government contractors, am I right? Sneaking into Area 51 2019. Don't move or I'll shoot. Don't move or I'll shoot. Thing is, don't move, or, don't move or, I'll shoot. or I'll shoot. Don't 
Come over, I'll shoot. I hit stop by accident. Because I was holding the button. I was holding right to move to the right. Okay, thank God. I don't know, do you have to wait for the truck to go? It blocks his view, then you go? level <laughs> the thing is don't move or all shoot base here dude I gotta pivot don't move or I'll shoot it's a memory David don't move or I'll shoot <laughs> this is horrible this is actually like comically bad <laughs> I'm ready. Once I get between them, we should be fine. Skirt. Then just wait until you're safely out of his view cone, but not too close to this guy's, and then book it. What is he? He's got a very strange sort of proportion for a young man. Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Get out of here now, Marcus. Don't, don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out now. It's about to explode. I'll keep looking <laughs> for the others. Marcus, don't ask any questions. Get out now. It's about to explode. Bug off, Lucas. You're going to give me away. The hangar's going to explode. you got to get out of here right now. What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game. You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Lucas, you're a total nutcase. You know, you're the fire? Look behind you. What are you doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? Also, the fire? I'm telling you, where's the, where's large kid? He's not making it out of here. Oh, oh! What are you doing here, Lucas? Get out! Nobody wants to play with you. You need to get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a retard. Excuse me? Kurt, you gotta listen to me. There's gonna be a fire. You need to get out of here right now. I'm not kidding. Go on, beat it, before I break your face, you jerk. Your mother sent me to find you. I'm gonna go and tell her that you're messing around in here. What? My mom? You well, we're both dead. Her and you're dead meat. I'll deal with you later, freak. I'm out of time. I gotta get out of here before everything explodes. He's done it. Actually, put our differences uh, Lucas, beside us. Right? Saved all no, three of the children the first back. try. And the others. You know, I managed to. If we time. if we didn't they save Kurt, he would have died you know a bigot. Happen, because we've saved him, there's a chance for him to grow into an adult that can you. learn. That what he did as a child was not okay, but it doesn't have to define him for the rest of his life. 
Are you all right, Lucas? Lucas, can you hear me? I did a little checking around, without giving your name, obviously. I was told about it. I just told them you were my was brother. Familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think that maybe she could help you. Here, this is her address. It's just the number 39 you know, believe in it, followed by a series of squiggles she can give you some kind of answer <laughs> I hope so too first I got a Carla asked me to see what I could find out I got a basketball game to out. attend to it might be able to tell us something about the killer I inquired in the office and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. There is no way that this is going to go well. Excuse me. Oh, I am sorry to cause waiting on you. Your presence here brings honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you happy. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. Uh... <laughs> I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. Thought it might be worth something. Ah, I'm happy. I am but the washless well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I serve here. Can you just take a look at it? You must have seen books like this one before. Ah, oh, many times, yes. I very sad to say, no can be helping you. Thanks I'm anyway. Very I sorry try. to say, no can be helping you. Ah, uh, maybe there is something I can do for you. <laughs> oh my god. One client order very rare. <laughs> Since this morning, I look for it, but impossible to find. You! you find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. So, what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. He starts every it's sentence with, ah. As this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that line. Brother, what am I doing? Here's the thing. None of these icons mean anything at all. It's just a man's face in a book. How am I supposed to know what that means? Incredible. This is as fast as it moves, by the way. I mean, I don't, what am I looking for? I 
I have no idea torn what's happening. piece of paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. It fell out of the book. It must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. Okay, here's your book. I think maybe you've got a problem with your eyes. This is not the book I want. Alright, alright. I'll keep looking. I think maybe you got a problem with you eyes. It's not my intention to insult you in your own store. <clears throat> oh, how about this random book pulled from the shelf right here? This is a good camera, dude. Oh, boy. There we go. Wait, how about... Does this mean anything to you? Okay, here's your book. I think maybe you've got a problem with your eyes. This is not the book I want. Alright, alright. I'll keep looking. Please don't bow to me. That's unnecessary! Okay, here's your book. Uh -oh. I think maybe you've got a problem with your eyes. This is not the book I want. I feel like that was a different I, line read. I'll keep looking. It's like, okay, can you do that, like, really, like, really racist line again, but this time, like, you're sick of this dumbass bringing you wrong books? I think you have problem with you eyes. This not the book I'm looking for. Sorry, this not the book I'm looking for. There is a puzzle here. I don't know what the right book is, okay? You gotta check it with the looking glass. Check it for what, though? It's like I'm gonna... It's gonna have his name on the inside? Okay, here's your book. Oh, great. Oh. You found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? Is it just me, or did you lose your accent? Oh, yeah. That's for the customers. Yeah, they love that wise old Japanese master stuff. I was born in Brooklyn, man. I never been no further than Long Island. I'm more American than you are, man. Well... Is there any way to find out who would have sold this book? Nah. This book ain't worth enough for any seller to remember it. Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? That's it? We did it all for no reason? Dude, police station courtyard indicates to me we're about to play basketball. I have to know. I'd work good and hard on the investigation. It's so snowing! Now I just wanted to relax and play some b-ball. And I also <laughs> the school I had with Jeffrey. I gotta keep talking so I don't get content ID match. This is the reason I don't want to put the videos on YouTube necessarily. Yo, <laughs> nice thread, Jeffrey. Very stylish, my man. You got me totally psyched out in that shit. Right. Okay, here's the rule. First to score 10 points wins the game and $200. That cool for you? You can kiss your money goodbye. We'll see. Let's do it. He has a cigarette behind his ear. I don't even want to talk about how he warped through the screen. Dude, it actually is Catwoman. The 2002 movie. Starring Halle Berry and Benjamin Bratt. All right, get ready. You're about to get deked, brother. Whatever the heck they call it in basketball. Here we go. 100% focus is required. Nothing but net. I gotta do that 10, like 20 more times. Okay, maybe just 10 more times because I have possession. Okay, here we go. We're gonna break his ankles. Ah, crap. I screwed it up. Maybe I can screw it up once. Twice. Sounds good to me, brother. Okay, here we go. 
Nope, that's not the button there. That's my bad. At least they they really nailed it with the musical number. You get the idea the scene is maybe a little bit long. <laughs> Oh, that's my bad. Sorry, I went uh, pizza when I should have french fried on that. Oh! Oh, he got me! Okay, I gotta play some defense here. My immersion. We gotta throw one. I just wanna see what happens. God, he's good. I'm I'm very concerned that this man has a jersey with his first name on the back of it that's clearly custom made. I'm also concerned to be honest about any adult who goes by Jeffrey instead of Jeff. But you know what? Maybe that's just me being ignorant. Okay, this time we got it. Oh, um. The more I see you play, Jeffrey, the more I think you should take up chess. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> if you're a bad, I'm your dad. Mm, you ever consider playing as something a little bit more your speed, like mm, Fire Emblem? Oh, actually shattered his shins on that one. It's beautiful. And then lyrics? Yeah. I knew I, it had been a while since I heard that beautiful voice. Yes. Now that was pure poetry in motion. Jeffrey, you should not be playing money matches, dude. This is just a preview of what's going to happen to Mathis when he goes to that Smash tournament in August. One more. Game point. It's a nice little warm up for the quick time events. Send them. <laughs> that's that's assault, man. Come on, that's that's what Sigourney Weaver does in Alien Resurrection. He hits the lane. He drives and he scores, ladies and gentlemen. That's our play of the day. Yep. Yo. You D up pretty good for a white cop. Excuse me? You ain't so bad yourself. You got some game. Maybe I should have mentioned. I did some ball in college. So, as for the hundred, it's game over, man. What hundred? You're a real SOB, Tyler. I know. And that's why you like me, Jeffrey. Racism solved. <laughs> Just leaving her uh, Mox Opal down on the ground. Oh, it's a Dutch angle. Uh, old plates on the shelf. I actually feel like I can't look at the screen. I'm just using my peripheral vision. I don't think I've ever been cages? given nausea so quickly. Like, to be honest with you. Pretty gloomy pets. Oh, Han Solo, thank you as well. That that was actually like instant nausea. I I started the stream feeling completely fine. Just that one camera angle. Is anyone at home? Does it people who don't suffer from motion sickness, uh, does this enjoy you? I can't even speak English because of nausea. Does this enjoy you? Do you enjoy this is what I meant to say. Maybe when it originally came out. Yeah, but was that because uh, it was 2005 or because you were 10 years younger? You know? The clock has stopped. Well, it is a JPEG. Are, are you Agatha? Why do you want to talk to Agatha? Um... Uh, for help. I was told. Like, help me remember who you are? Help you? Tell me. 
who on this earth doesn't need a little help? You could just ask. Be kind, young man. Push me over to my bed. <laughs> It'll be more comfortable for us to Probably the about. rudest way to uh, to try to discover if somebody is blind. Oh, thanks for the one-ups. You dumb bitch! <laughs> I'm out! The cupboard is locked. You just gonna rob her? Uh... <laughs> Open the door with their face. Oh. It's the Minecraft pressure plate. Genius. About the same amount of uh, animations the bird as well. Is such a unique animal. It can spend yeah, it looks unique. Entire life locked up in a cage and yet still keep on singing away. Kind of like that man in my radio who keeps singing Uptown Funk. Tell me, what is your cage like? Um, possession. I killed a man. It, it was like I was possessed. I watched it all happen, but I had no control over my actions. There's that nothing I could like do, dude. Commonplace story to me. Don't you think that it might simply be because you've gone mad? I had a vision of another man making exactly the same movements as me. It's and the player. A girl who called out to me for help. In the cupboard, you will find a little bag of seeds. Be a good boy. Feed some to my little darlings, will you? Like, these birds exist exclusively thanks to the parade of weirdos that come into her apartment looking for guidance, I suppose. I don't know how sustainable that economic model is, but she has made it this far. To attach anything concrete to your vision. It's like a Such cosmo a quiz. Or sign. What's Maybe your work. ideal Saturday? A After day at the beach with my hunky boyfriend my who looks like life. Zac Efron. A night on the town to the hottest clubs in the city. Two open jaws. Oh dear God. <laughs> what does it mean? There's only one way for me to be sure. Please, push me into the sitting room. <laughs> By the way, I have no idea what a sitting room is, so... It's any room she's in? That's not okay, Chad. That's not okay. The only way to understand what has happened to you... Is, is to, to, try to go deep. give me the three digits memory. on the back of your credit Whatever card. Was ...that forced you to commit this murder has erased himself from your memory. But there still must be be a trace in your unconscious. I can help you to locate it. It's an exhausting ceremony, and there's always a risk involved. Do you, or do you not wish to try it? Uh... Yes, I do. I have no choice. Give me your hand. Very typical theme in Quantic Dreamworks. Now, close your eyes. I want you to Close your oh there we go. He wasn't listening to your unconscious. And let me enter there. Uh, oh We're still together. Lucas, are you there? Yes. I want you to return to the restaurant just before the events began. Evacuate all extraneous thoughts and wonder. F um. What on earth is happening? I'm standing outside the restaurant. I want you to enter the restaurant now. This is my kind of hypnosis. You're now ordering a five-piece chicken strips meal with french fries. I didn't get a prompt on that one, but I, I'll tell you, I hit it. 
I've gone into the restaurant. <laughs> what do you see? Other game designers are hacks. They would just have you walk into the restaurant. The waitress. For David, we gotta input you see the table? 45 timing-based Simon puzzles. There's a police officer. I'm in the restroom. And so is the other man. What's he doing? He's urinating. He well, doesn't suspect anything. It is a David Cage game. And you, Lucas. Where are you? I don't know. I can't see myself. There I am. I was in a toilet stall. Oh my god. I'm holding a knife. He doesn't see me. Calm yourself, Lucas. Keep your concentration. I... I can't control my steps. I'm walking up behind the man. He doesn't see me. I don't want to. I don't want to. Oh, I, I screwed it up. Stop myself. T-pose. <laughs> and scene. It is prior to going into the toilet stall. Do you understand, Lucas? Be Describe before. the stream of the victim's urination. Where are you now? I'm in the restaurant dining room again. We only had enough budget to model three environments, lady. Yes, I am. I can see Unless myself. otherwise mentioned, I am in the restaurant. Eating. I'm, eating. I'm eating and reading a book. A book? Yes. Shakespeare. The Tempest. Oh, so a play, you mean. What else do you see? As I told thee before, I um. am subject to a tyrant. A sorcerer that by his cunning hath cheated me of the island. What did you say? It's a passage from Shakespeare's Tempest. That's what you're reading, is it? Are you a, yes. a Star Wars droid? Someone's coming toward me. A man. Who is it? I don't know, the but customer? he's pissing. I don't know. I think so. I can't see his face. And what does he say to you? I... I, I don't know. I, I can't remember. You must concentrate, Lucas. You need to remember. Great. It's one of my favorite books. She, so few people and she's holding a thermal detonator. Don't mind if I sat down for a moment. Ah, it's just that the man sat down at my table and now the waitress is coming. Sir? A coffee, please. Uh, no droids allowed. It's as if she didn't see the man. Invisible. So much has been written about the Tempest, especially concerning the theme of magic. Oh no, it's my 11th grade English teacher. What's happening, Lucas? I, I don't know. The man gives off a very strange energy. It's hard to describe. Go on, Lucas. What happens after that? She's got a lot of similar lines, huh? Do you believe in the power of magic? Uh, no, I don't. I can feel Listen, something um, inside me, no. say? You know there's much more to our universe than can be perceived by the naked eye. Your coffee, sir. Thanks, Kate. No comment? The waitress has brought him his coffee. But she's talking to me as if I was the one who ordered it. Hmm. She doesn't know that he's there. She can't see him. I hadn't derived that up to this point. Happening. I appreciate the explicit explanation. Listen, I don't want to be rude, but I'd rather eat alone. Oh my lord. I'm paralyzed. I can't feel my body. I can't move. The man, Lucas. Where is the man? He, he stood up. He's gone out. He's in my head now. He controls me. Follow the man, Lucas. Hurry. 
I command you to follow that man closely. It's a complete resident sleeper face. Door. Follow him. Your mind is oh, it's getting tricky. We gotta do you alternating movements. Man, this is a, a segment of staggering length. You know who that man was, don't you, Agatha? No. I don't know. I'm not sure who he is. Yes, you do know who he is. You understood it all as soon as you felt the scars on my arms. What do these symbols mean, Agatha? Tell me what that man's done to me! You should go now, Lucas. There's nothing more that I can do for you. You could at least explain what the hell's happening to me! He made me kill a man! I want to know! I need to Plus, know! Plus, I fed your birds! I have to verify certain things. There's nothing more I can tell you today. Come back tomorrow night at the same time. I'll explain more then. It's called pacing, sweetheart. Look it up. Yeah, this guy knows what's up. Sergeant Mitchell? Yes? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions concerning one of my investigations? Young lady, I haven't worked in investigations for a long time. I doubt I can be much help. Ah, that's it's the spirit. It's an old case, but I'm still looking into it. The Kirsten case? Because you can't locate the file, is that right? Because you can't yes, locate the file, right. is that right? The file's been classified. So, what do you want to know about the Kirsten case? I've proven well, my, instance, my street cred. What exactly happened? A guy named Kirsten's calmly shopping in his local supermarket. He's in the kitchen accessories aisle. When someone picks up a knife, and stabs him to death. Was the killer apprehended? He didn't move from the spot. We found him sitting on the floor next to the victim like he was waiting for us with this blank stare on his face. Any other interesting elements in the case? Ah, one more detail. The killer then used the knife to carve some symbols on his own forearms. I don't know why he does body language. is freaking me out. Carves some symbols on his own forearms. Maybe he just cracked. Lost it for a moment. Some people are like time bombs just waiting to go off. That's the first theory. Until I saw the coroner's report. Each knife entry cut cleanly into an artery leading to the heart with yeah. perfect accuracy. Yeah. I remember from last week. The guy had a one in a million chance of doing that, even if he'd been a surgeon. You didn't stop your investigation there, did you? No, this case really intrigued me. What could have motivated him to do something like that? I mean, I checked out piles of leads and, and discovered almost by accident that this wasn't the first. There had been other killings with the same profile. You mean where the killer had the same bizarre M.O. and stuck around afterwards? Exactly. Three weeks earlier, on the other side of town, another stabbing victim in the middle of the street, no motive. Did it eat out? Discovered a third case, two months prior to that. Then another, and another, and always the same M.O. And in all these cases, the Pope was arrested? Nope. Either they committed suicide before we got there, or else they went nuts. But each time, the stabbing was identical. They all cut the arteries leading to the heart very precisely. Dude, I love his like slam poetry the body language. Snake on their own forearms. And your investigation into the supermarket killing. Did it lead anywhere? You should drop this one, Detective. Whoa! This is not just a murder case. That's the spirit? There's something very odd going on behind the scenes. Looks like I'll be starting a new file. I, hate, I don't like that it's negative 12C in his apartment. Excuse me, uh, where's my telephone? My name is Lucas. I've forgotten the location of my telephone. Lucas Kane. Master Noctilan, Castanetli, Corpitlan. These dang robocalls, dude. Oh, Lord.
lord. This was highly <laughs> unexpected. My man is fighting his own apartment! I will say, this is a good lesson in why you should pick up your own filth. This is what Vancouverites think three inches of snow feel like. Oh, watch out. If you got hit by that, they might play some more Theory of a Dead Man. Just absolutely unbelievable. His cabinets are coming off the walls. Now I realize why his apartment had so many boxes. But I have to pee! <laughs> How will they know I'm a real human character if I don't urinate? This is me, Champions of Fire 1, 2017. It never ends, dude! Oh my lord. If you had told me that this scene existed, I would have disbelieved you. I would have thought it was one of those things where the internet was being a little bit hyperbolic actually playing it for myself in the moment uh, it, I feel like I'm living history right now oh no <laughs> please I only have one life remaining I can't bear to do this again free me thank god I took that lady's rosary That Vincent Price uh, at the end of Thriller. Lucas's terrifying story haunted me all night long. Uh oh. I had to see him, to talk to him. I had to find out what. Little does he know, him. my apartment building doesn't exist anymore. And hear the truth. By the way, it's a law. If you're a priest, you have to wear your collar literally at all times. Lucas. Lucas? Lucas, open the door! Lucas! Kind of feeling I could swear that I heard a, a little bit slighted by the timer, considering the dormant said Lucas was at home. I have no choice he whatsoever right now. Lucas isn't dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No other choice. Hey, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, maybe get the lead out a little bit. Lucas! Oh my god! Extremely long live the king moment. Well, brother, you're never gonna believe this one. <laughs> you ever have one of those situations where Lucas, your own apartment god starts sake. attacking you? Have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls... The walls were blown away and... The wind, the tempest, I... Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. For heaven's sake, Lucas. There's no this is why we shouldn't let kids read I. Shakespeare. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas. What's happening to me, Marcus? I don't know what's happening. It'll be all right, Lucas. Everything will be fine. I'm gonna help you. You'll see. Ah. Uh, it's me, David. David! <laughs> David, why? Why? <laughs> Hold 
hold on. Just wait until she gets out, and then I'll walk over to the towel. You then will be good to go. The look of love is in your eyes. Hold on, you can't answer the phone until you take a piss, Carla. Oh, I forgot. You're a uh, you're a lady. Your bathrooms don't have toilets. I mean. Citizen Cage? Does it even need to be said? Ah, yes. Sorry, this... Hey, have some decency! We're not gonna show a lady pissing in our game! I refuse to wash my hands. I have to see this. Jeff, Super Pizza Man, Hot Minutes. <laughs> Hold on, turn off the hi-fi system. There's no way I can put this on YouTube, dude. Ooh. I was feeling kind cool of guy pose. And thought as my official friendly neighbor, you'd agree to share my boredom. And this excellent bottle of French Chablis. That is as your, your piss, neighbor, I wouldn't brother. think of refusing your boring invitation or your excellent wine, Tommy. I told you to stop bringing your piss over here. Must have some wine glasses around here somewhere. There is a scene like this in every Quantic Dream game as well. David respects the gastronomic experience. A toast? All right. What to? To love. What else? I'll drink to that. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Uh, we we bonded over our mutual love and respect of sweaters. Are you with anyone? Well, actually, I did meet someone two weeks ago. He's very real and very nice. Oh. And he works in a bank, too. I think this time it could My be mistake, David, is woke. I'm happy to see you got your smile back. We all have our ups and downs, right? I always thought that people in New York didn't give a damn about gayness. They were so enlightened. How wrong I was. They still look at us as being different from so-called normal folks. <laughs> Are you still single? What's a beautiful Tommy, I think you should go home. Go I don't like where this conversation's going. If there's one thing New York has lots of, it's handsome men. I don't trust Quantic Dream to handle this with the, the nuance it warrants. My last romantic experiences were total disasters. I'm not ready for anything or anyone just yet. Enough small talk. Look at what I brought. No, I don't want to play commander Cards? with you. I'm going to read your future. <laughs> you mean you know how to use those things? My grandmother was a psychic. She taught me how to read the cards when I was just You a think kid. his name is Tommy Agatha? She handed down her seeing powers to me. It really works, you know. Okay, Mr. Gypsy. Yikes. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. It's easy. First take the cards and mix them up. <laughs> we don't use that word anymore, David. Yo, good shuffle, though. I mean, you, you got to move the bottom cards a little bit, but... Hmm. Four lands and all my gas. Who would have thought? I want this card... David, please! <laughs> I can't escape the nudity. There's going to be a dark period, an escape, and terrible danger. Uh, Take two more cards. I would rather not. <laughs> I already got top right, by the way. All right, let's take two that are next to each other. Let's let's go top left. La maison de, and then right next to it. You're not alone. Oh, you're following someone. Ah, I love that. Disturbing. Le diable. Secret. There is a curse. Oh, 
great suffering and fear. Is that a <laughs> I see dark death and distress. It's a mega death album cover. I think yes, we just, just lost code names. Whenever you need cheering up. Seriously, I'm sorry, Carla. This is not turning out to be as much fun as I thought. It's okay, Tommy. Let's see what horrors my destiny holds for me. One child. Two destinies. A path toward life. The other path toward death. Carla, I think we'll stop there. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened. I, it's the first time I've ever read this sort of thing. <laughs> I usually don't express anything like this. Don't apologize, Tommy. It's just a silly game. Just a dang old Luigi board, brother. Anyway. Well, I've got well, to Well, it's play. time to get a watch. Uh, so you'll know you can keep the cards. Don't worry about it. Good night, Carla. Good night, Tommy. It was real nice talking. Don't wait so long. Next Get your affairs time. in order. I promise. Mm. Okay. Tyler, I'm sorry we quarreled. Tyler. <laughs> My paramour. I'm sorry we quarreled this morning. I'm so scared that something might happen to you. Dot, dot, dot. I love you underscore Sam. Well, we can reply to that later, I suppose. Donatello embarrassed by rising crime. Yep, yep. Oh man, nothing but stock quotes. How can anyone possibly decipher these things? They are... Yo, Wait, Malthus! That's it. I gotta call Carter right away. The Malthus Corp is down 4.5%. <laughs> I think I found it. I've got to call Carla. Tyler? <laughs> I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time we've got our killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? Yes, obviously. Okay, you go. We'll meet afterwards at this We're arresting table. a murder suspect. See you tomorrow, Tyler. See you tomorrow. Nah, I don't think we're going to need you. Hello, I'm Detective Todd of Miles, New York Police. Are you Lucas Kane? I've just got a couple of questions for you. Here's a question for you, brother. You got a questions? warrant? Questions? What about? I'm working on a homicide case, and we have reason to believe that the murderer worked at this bank. What do you want to know? Could you confirm that this list came from here at the bank? Uh, truth. The paper does come from here. It has our bank ID code and the watermark. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? Who? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. Um, truth. This kind of paper is used <laughs> by to, me. to print out their quotes. <laughs> There's about a hundred of them here in the bank. A witness helped us make a composite <laughs> photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? I would be, it would be my honor. <laughs> Apparently I failed that one. That one's my bad. This remind you of anyone? Um, <laughs> no comment. Nobody you know. Uh, no, doesn't ring a bell. I don't, <laughs> sorry. Are you sure? Oh, well, it was worth a shot. Yo, he's lying straight up. I can smell it. Damn, maybe this is our guy right here. Stranger things have happened. Uh, I'm not feeling very well. I'm just gonna go and splash some water on my face. You go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. Yo. <laughs> I his refuse so to strange. search his office. I better take a quick look inside his desk before he gets back. This is. Uh, we don't this have probable man. cause. There ought to be some Yoink! On it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. Oh, hold on. There we go. Mm, yoink! Shakespeare, just like the book in the restaurant. That's worth checking out. I'll just uh, remove it discreetly. 
Um, yoink. A torn piece of computer paper. I'll just take that. It's true. Anything he finds uh, will be inadmissible as evidence. Dude, we're set. I don't need anything else. Is that a bomb? You feeling better? Yes. Thanks. Well, I don't have any more questions. Uh, I'll let you get back to work. Thank <laughs> you for your cooperation, sir. Yeah, he just... Uh, find bank accounts. Tyler. Give a uh, double dot max value. Oh, we gotta go to Agatha's, dude. The news is tightening. The police are closing in on me. They'll be back, and next time, they'll take me in. Agatha was my last chance. She's the only one who seems to understand what's happening to me. I just hope this time she'll give yeah, me Yeah, she's answers. the only one who gets me. By the way, who is she? Is she just old and blind? Someone just went out the window. Sir, I need to get your name before I can record your message. Sir, the police cruiser will be there in just a few minutes. Can you hear me, sir? Agatha. We should feed the birds before we go. Overwrought. <laughs> The only one who could help me, the only one who knew. What's up, anybody home? This is how I come into my apartment. I didn't expect you so soon. Be a good boy and preheat the oven. Oh, and pour us a couple of glasses of champagne from the fridge. I'll be out in a minute. Yo, what's up, anybody home? Set that to food and uh, straight into the freezer. For some pizza rolls! I'm waiting. Hello, Detective Miles. It's the same dress you Jennifer Lopez wore today? to the 1999 MTV uh, Video Music well, Awards. We already had Christmas, so 4th of July? No, that's summer. No, you got me. Tyler. Okay, okay, babe. It's been exactly two years since I met the woman of my dreams. You want to put some music on? I feel like dancing. Why not, dude? Oh, never mind. Be Did you see the Beyond Two Souls album? My favorite. The Beyond Two Souls soundtrack on vinyl. Oh, sorry, I gotta focus. Featuring such hits as Aiden! Aiden, I need your help. Please help me, Aiden! I really need you right now. Open parentheses, Aiden. Tyler gave me a full report on what happened oh. to Hazel and Jones. He emphasized that one of the employees was behaving strangely. A guy named Lucas Kane. Now, I had all the pieces of the puzzle. I just needed to put them all together to find our murderer. On my desk lay all the information from Nazar and Jones. On Tyler's desk, clues from the restaurant. The identity of the killer was here somewhere. No doubt about it, the prints from the restaurant and the pen come from the same person. Nice. I've got my first link. I'll need another in order to establish proof that Kane is our man. Hey, she needs a TKO. <clears throat> Come in. Oh, hi, Carla. I saw the light was on, so I thought I'd, uh, you know. Ah, come bother you. Nice to see you, Martin. It's calmer here at night. It helps me think a little clearer. Carla, I... This has been bothering me for a while. I need to talk to you. You see, I saw the killer from the restaurant. Yeah. He saved a kid who was drowning in Central Park. The kid would have died without him. I was there when it happened. And it's stupid, but I... 
Just couldn't bring myself to arrest him after that. I just figured he'd earned a break. I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, Possibly the worst me. police officer of all time. In your place. <laughs> I figured he just I'll needed a break. For at least another hour. Damn reports to type up. Come and see me if you need some company. Catch you later, Martin. <laughs> It's so good, dude. No, I don't want to read Richard the Third. I mean, this is one of those like suspended, without pay situations. Oh, don't answer it, lover. Stay on the couch. Didn't think anybody would just stay here. Sorry, babes. I need to answer. It might be important. Tyler, Is your refrigerator no. running? We got him, Tyler. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm on my way. Tyler, I'm warning you. If you leave me now, I will never forgive you. <laughs> oh, no. I won't be long, babe. Just sip some champagne and I'll be right back before you know it. I'm sorry, Sam, but this is really important. What about me? I'm not important. Tyler! You can at least, like, uh, comfort her a little bit. Like, I get maybe you gotta leave, but at the same time, he just walked out. Laundry! Hey, look, it's a millennial trying to run an errand. Sorry, we're closed. Come back tomorrow. Oh, I won't be long. Master Nakilan, Nagi Bini, Nata Quen, Casta Nekli, Quaniklana, I Quentana. Sorry, Satan really needs to do a load of Jews right now. On behalf of the Prince of Darkness, I commandeer this laundromat. The Dark Lord needs to wash his delegates. Finally put all of the pieces together. All that's left is to arrest the killer. Whoa! Damn, what the hell is this? Cover me. I'm gonna check the doors. He's a notorious pisser. Do not go in there. He's running across the street. What should I do, Carla? Stop him. We're coming. <laughs> Copy that. The, the murder suspect's right in front of me. What should I do? It happened again. Somebody died in the lavamatic. So what? I was there. Agatha's dead, so who's gonna tell me what's going on? The lavamatic? It's a Mario Maker level? Put your hands in the air. Oh. Damn, the police. They already found me. I'll spend the rest of my days rotting in prison. And I'll never find out what really happened. No. I'm it's ready. I'm ready. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Well, that is surprising. <laughs> What is he doing? He did he threw a Kamehameha! Oh my god! That's incredible, dude. Don't move, asshole. Don't move, asshole. Oh my god. It's actually the Matrix. He's dodging the bullets. <laughs> He's dodging the bullets. 
This is incredible. <laughs> There's always a chopper, dude. Please shoot an energy blast at the chopper. Oh. I'm just gonna be honest. And that's how my story ends. I didn't even see I the prompt. A strange power within me, but I wasn't capable of using it at the right moment. I'll continue from the last save. New York police. Don't move. You need a new chopper pilot. Focus. Some of the arrows, they're honestly just hard to see. Because they're overlaid at like 50% opacity. See, that's the one that got me last time. Is honestly like almost exactly the same as the glaucoma test, and I'm not even messing with it. No oh, crap. He's done it. Like the glaucoma test is just like, hey, press this buzzer when a light shows up in your peripheral vision. No. <laughs> what? Did you see what that guy just did? Shit, that's crazy. We need to catch him. Oh Next my god. Get away. Guy's been taking new tropics. Five men in the hospital. Four wrecked squad cars. A helicopter that just missed blowing up in our faces. <laughs> Meanwhile, the killer takes a nice quiet ride on the subway. I hope there's what a is good that explanation flag? for all this. Nobody could have predicted the way things went down, Captain. We should have had him no problem, but the guy pulled some unpredictable stuff out there. This Kane is not the Sunday driver we thought he was. Just what are you trying to tell me here? That this guy is Superman? That's your excuse? And you seriously expect me to buy that crap? We underestimated Kane. There's no denying it. He did pull down we a knew helicopter. He was dangerous, but not that he could knock out trained armed policemen and then escape hanging under a helicopter. I don't give a crap about your two-bit excuses. When the press finds out that Kane slipped through our fingers, they're gonna make me a laughingstock, and the mayor's gonna come looking for my head. Now, what is the plan, people? Are you on his trail? Kane's photo will be in every squad car, train station, and airport. He puts one foot outside, and we'll be all over him. I want every available man. Man, this desk is taking a right lot now. of abuse. I want him locked up tight in 48 hours or less. You understand me? I want this nut job behind bars <laughs> before he decides to cut somebody else. Now get out of here. It's just absolutely Carla, disrespecting that desk. We found some of Kane's prints in an apartment where we found the dead body of an old lady. That's not all. There was a double murder last night in a lavamatic. A what? One of the two victims was killed by knife blows to the heart. Garrett's already there. He's waiting for you. <laughs> Feel like we just keep letting this lavamatic stuff go. Burr. It's cold in there. There must be some religion in the atmosphere. I said burr. Cut, 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 cut. Huh? Agatha? Agatha, is that you? I, I thought you were... Dead. I thought I was what? But I promise to tell you what I know. And I always keep my <laughs> word. Listen carefully, Lucas. We have very little time. You are not insane. Neither are you a murderer. You are simply at the wrong place, at the wrong time. 
Why did they make me commit that murder? They've turned you into the instrument of a millennial. I told you! Device. Extreme boomer energy! For them to see what's hidden. <laughs> the boomers were behind it all along. Little girl. They'll do anything to get her. Why did they pick me? Why did they want to kill that guy? Pure chance. They just needed one man to kill another in order to open the mouth of the serpents. You're not the first to be chosen to perform. Did this game this inspire hereditary? And certainly not the last. In hindsight, I shouldn't have made you wait a day to tell you this. They're coming. Save yourself, Lucas. They want your life. Quit knit lad. In the ancient Mayan civilization, you'll find some of the answers you seek there. Agatha? Agatha! I had nowhere to go. I was exhausted. I felt Ooh, like I was gonna die. Semicolon. Either from the cold or from hunger. I hoped that I could rest for a couple of hours at Tiffany's place. Get my energy back. Perhaps get some breakfast. What to do next. I'd only been to her new apartment once before. I only had a vague memory of exactly where it was, but... Oh! Get ready! Tiffany's apartment, of course. They assume that maybe I they just want to eat at Vietnam restaurant. I have to find another way in. In the, the alley. Don't move, King. Just stay calm and everything will be fine. That's how my story ends. Don't turn around. Slowly look. The drain pipe. Ah. Look at his superhuman. Strength and agility. <laughs> it's, you almost can't see him. At a blistering pace. All this to break into a place that is being monitored by the cops. Oh, and then those of you who asked the obvious question. You climbed up the pipe. What are you going to do now, dumbass? Your question has been considered. What goes up must come down. What are we supposed to believe he just materialized on the ground floor? Ten's music has stopped. We must be set. That window leads to Tiffany's apartment. If only I could find a way to open it. Okay, how about just open it forehead? Because he's got superpowers. I think it budged a little. I almost had it. Oh my god. <laughs> His superhuman strength. I wasn't too proud about breaking into Tiffany's apartment like a common criminal, but I had no well, You're a murderer! I had eaten in almost a day. I was starting to feel weak and tired. What is this asymmetrical and TV? For an dude? expert's point of view on the subject, uh, we have with us today one of the most renowned specialists on Mayan civilization, Professor Dmitry Kuryakin of the Mesoamerican University here in New York. Uh, thanks for being with us today, Professor. You've written a fascinating book on Mayan rituals. And uh, I wanted to ask you if. A specialist in Mayan civilization? He'd know what Kekdeklan means. Gotta meet this Professor Kuryakin. Okay. Time to see a nuanced depiction of mental illness. Hello. My name is Barney. Detective Carla Valenti. You've come to see Janos, isn't that right? He's down the second corridor on the right. With <laughs> oh, another power outage. It's the sixth time today. It's the sixth time, time today. 
Good thing the hospital's got its own backup generator. Remember, Janice's cell is down the second corridor on the right. One of my colleagues is waiting to open the cell for you. I wasn't sure exactly what I expected to find out by coming here. Kane was the killer, there was no doubt about that. And yet, I needed to know just what happened in the strange case of the Kirsten killings. Is this cell, right? So one more? My hello, detective. <laughs> the scene is vaguely reminiscent of something, but I can't think of what it is. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti of the New York Police Department. I'd like to ask you a few questions. The man has a bar code. It's all right with sure. you, of course. I read in your file that you often had. Um, if you scan that with your QR reader, you get a free Fortnite skin. Why have you gone to the trouble of coming to see me, Detective Valenti? I'm mad, you know. What I have to say is meaningless. Isn't that right? Maybe it'll make sense to me. Please, Anton, tell me everything that you know. A man and a woman in a laundromat. He knows. She's a little overweight. Well, that's ad hominem. Him. He has a knife planted in his eye. How do you know? Could that? I make it any Can more obvious? I can see through his eyes. Every one of them. I'm there. Who is the murderer? Nobody knows. Nobody sees him. He leaves no trace in people's memories. But I know. I know he exists. He's among us. Invisible. He's everywhere. Why is he killing people? He wants to see the other side. He's looking for a little girl. He's been waiting for a long time. He wants her, and will do anything to get her. There have been other identical murders, haven't there? The killings won't stop until they've found the little girl. Why? Why are they killing? Why? Oh, the world's not what you think it is. The Orange Clan is secretly running everything. They're watching us, Miss. Is he talking time. about the Dutch? They record what you say. They know what you're doing each second of the day. They're everywhere. How is this connected to the murders? They want ultimate power. They want the answer to the question of life. They want to be eternal. It's the I Lion Baby <laughs> clan. Thank you for your help. It's already too late. We're all gonna die from the cold. It'll be the dawn of a new race, the end of humanity. <laughs> the end of humanity. <laughs> no, it hurts to laugh, but we have fun here. And then the power goes out in the asylum. Everything go all right? I'll walk you to the. Damn it! This time it looks serious. That's the seventh now time the today. The backup electrical generator hasn't kicked in. It'll come on. Sometimes it takes a minute. We'll wait here in the meantime. <laughs> what was that noise? Oh shit. The cell doors. All of the cell doors have been opened. <laughs> the electrical outage must have screwed up the auto lock system. What? You mean the patients are free to leave their cells and nothing? Wait. Don't move. Don't make any noise. We don't want them to locate us. Here, uh, uh, train jackets with me. And we'll wait for the lights to come on. Relax. Stay close to me. Move. <laughs> oh no. They got him. I have to move from here, or they'll find me too. I don't breathe more coming. Ruka, I've already got a quick time event. Get me for sure. I don't need a quick time event to manage you as well, buddy. I hear one coming. He's getting so close. Please, Carla, don't move. No comment. Hello, uh, I'm a journalist, and mm, I have my name is Professor, Professor New York Times, and the professor's waiting for you.
ancient fursona. Professor Kiryakin? Yes? My name's John Cunningham. We spoke on the phone. I'm a journalist, and I'm gathering information for an article I'm writing about the Mayan religions. For my ah, GeoCities yes, website. I've been waiting for you, young man. What, um, what paper did you say you write for once again? Ah, uh, yeah, National Geographic. No, New York Times, obviously. I write for the New York Times. The most complicated prompt. We got it. The New York Times is interested <laughs> in my work. Delightfully devilish, Seymour. Oh, won't that make some of my esteemed colleagues green with him? <laughs> it's, uh, it's curious, but your face seems familiar to me. Have we met somewhere before? Mm, yes, at the uh, yeah, New York Times I Mixer. I guess I must have one of those boring faces everybody sees everywhere. Well then, let's uh, have a go at it. You want to fight? Where would you like to start? Can you tell me anything about Kweknitlan? Of course. Come, I'll introduce you. There you we go. You see before you the ancient Mayan god Kweknitlan, the serpent Bro. with the two heads. That's spaghetti. One head sees in this reality the second in the other world. By opening both mouths, the Mayan oracles could see through the serpent into the other world. Could you explain this other world? Oh, the world. The Shouldn't you be writing world, this down? The kingdom of the gods and the dead. The Mayans believed that human sacrifices allowed them to hear the voices of the deceased and see into the future. What exactly do we know about these oracles? Oh, not very much. <laughs> they were very mysterious. They served as mystic liaisons, allowing man to connect with supernatural forces. If we can believe the ancient texts, the oracles possessed uh, strange powers. What kind well, of powers did the oracles possess? Some some sort of uh, Superman-esque agility and strength? Permitting the Oracle to live for several hundred years. Tell me, how did the sacrificial ceremony work? Come, I'll show you. Mm. A little frightened. Mouth S's in the chat, please. Well, he's really conveniently laid out this display for us. This painting, uh, dating from the first century BC, shows a sacrificial ceremony. The victim's agony must have lasted quite some time. The priority being to keep the mouths open as long as possible. The victim was stabbed three times. Each wound cutting a pulmonary artery leading to the heart. The Oracle is not the one stabbing the victim? Oh, the Oracle must never soil himself with the blood of another. That is why he chooses a sort of proxy. I get it. Another person in the crowd. Totally at random. This person becomes the exit. The Oracle takes complete control of the Executor, manipulating... Thought we finished Pokemon distance. two weeks ago. What happened to the Executor after the sacrifice? He went mad and committed suicide after accomplishing his... Plus he reached the 50 coin limit. A Mayan sacrifice. That's what it was. You aren't a journalist, are you? Who are you? My name is Lucas Kane. The police are looking for me about a murder that I did not commit, but I was the executor. You're a murderer? I'm innocent. I stabbed someone I didn't know. That's how my story ends. Three times, cutting his artery. I thought I found like a kindred spirit, like uh, Jimmy Smith's in season three of Dexter. Is a Mayan oracle still living today? But, but that's completely impossible. Show four arms. <laughs> Have you ever seen this symbol before? <laughs> oh, 
It's the symbol of Quetnitlan. The executors cut this into their own forearms before accomplishing this sacrifice. So, it is true. My God, the Codex was right. Excuse the Codex? me? <laughs> what are you talking about, Professor? You can't stay here. Your picture is in the paper that the security guard is reading. <laughs> so you. Come, let's leave here. And I'll tell you all about it. Cars. Thank you for your help, Professor. My nemesis. He's definitely dead. Extreme skirt. Um. Is he okay? Oh my back! I'm not supposed to I'm supposed to get pushed by the executor. No. Nice dodge. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, he is absolutely dead. I've done it again. Oh, never mind. There's a real Stephen King sort of situation going on here. Incredible move. Oh, do we mean get ready? <laughs> Walk away. Beautiful. Professor. The Codex speaks of the coming of a child. But why is he dead? I just pushed him. Life's questions. <laughs> the Oracle kills to find the child. Ah, there you are. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Few men are capable of resisting an oracle. What Can you stop with the text-to-speech filter, please? The chroma. You have the chroma. Just throw some more words so at me. explains it. How did you ever acquire such a power? No matter. What matters is, the time has come for you to die. Oh, really? This is some kind of dream, isn't it? You're not really there in front of me, are you? <laughs> Reality is a notion that doesn't have any meaning where I come from. We are not really You know, here, Chichen Itza is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Believe me, this world is just as real as your own. The Chroma? What does that mean? The force that created the universe. The origin of everything. It gives extraordinary powers to those who possess it. Enough talk. Have at you. Other matters await my attention. If you could just be dead by the time I'm back, that would be great. Other world. Get ready. Oh, you like that little stutter step? Skirt. Yeah, yeah, throwing a pump fake. It's Agatha. Agatha? But how? Listen closely, Lucas. Those who employ the Oracle are searching for a little girl. A oh, nobody had mentioned that up to this point. Incarnated. Her coming was foretold by the most ancient prophecy in human history. She's the one you see in your dreams. You must find her before the Oracle does and put her someplace safe. Hurry. 
there isn't Dude, much time. She has You're one little wheel on in front train. of the chair. I never noticed that before. It's like a wheelchair tricycle. I must inform you that we are unhappy. Very unhappy. So I have to do a quick time event to listen. First in the museum lot. A big mistake. The museum lot. And then in the wave. What's worse, you showed yourself openly to him. And all for nothing. It's just I was unaware of certain factors, my lords. Which factors? He possesses the chroma. Dude, As this is the start of idiocy. Halo 2. How could he possess the chroma? I know not. But it is a certainty that he does. This is how he resisted my psychic attacks and successfully evaded the police. This could force us to change our plans. This is serious. Very serious. That is not all. Someone has intervened. What do you mean? While you were with him in the wave? Yes, my lord. Someone brushed aside all of my attacks on Cain and protected him. Exactly. It was not one of ours. Certainly not. No. I think it was something else. Oh my god. Please tell me Agatha us. is like actually Different. some kind Another of clan? That's impossible. Only we are left. God we Arbiter arrival. or something like that. Like she has the highest power they level they in the whole universe. Not find the child. That would be a catastrophe. A disaster. Kane is on their side. Unless they are just using him. He is the key. He sees through our eyes. He must not find the child. You must yeah, what he said. Problem. Definitively. I have already taken measures. He will be definitively dealt with. And soon. Do not disappoint us. You may leave us. I gotta know why why make me hit the QTEs in the in the cutscene, man. Sleazy hotel. Negative twenty-six degrees Celsius. The Oracle is in Marcus's church. There's not a moment to lose. I've gotta warn him or he's dead. Or <laughs> he's dead. I never he sounds like an average American man, except he's whenever he says again. dead, it freaks he me out. He swore to us that he was in his room, and he's not gonna get away. I hope that guy didn't I've gotta warn him, or he's dead! He's photo from the papers. He looks so blind he wouldn't recognize his own mother in a phone booth. We'll find the answer in room 369. <laughs> nice. 369. Here it is. I think that's 366 and the number's just upside down. Oh! Nobody go! Either he's gone through some changes since the photo, or this is not him. David! What the hell happened? Calm down, girl. I think there's been a slight misunderstanding. Tyler, it was the wrong room! Huh? There must be another room 369 down the hall somewhere. I think the bird has flown the coop. I'm gonna find him, Tyler. I promise you. Come on, let's go. He's Spider-Man. Now he's Spider-Man. Must be the wrong number. Now that I am not joking. So please, don't delay. <laughs> That's what you get for dumping me. The fun fair. I'm moving towards my death. Everything that I've been through since the second I entered that diner, all of it was leading me to this moment. I was tired of fighting, running, and hiding all the time. I was
was losing anyway. There was only one thing left to do. Try to save Tiffany's life. And after that, I decided not to fight my destiny anymore. Oh my lord. David, you're too good to me. get in the car. Thank you. <laughs> Put the safety bar down, you madman! <laughs> oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> First stop, top of the roller coaster. Never shuts up. We just left a footprint on the air. Ma'am. I'd be pissed if I found out she was just holding on to this thing. Unfortunately, it's a one-seater. Clint Howard? I, dude, I gotta know. I know we're at 352. I gotta know. That's it. It's over. Now there's nothing to do but wait. Though it shouldn't be long. Perfect. All has gone according to plan. I sense another signal. Cerebral's final activity. I think he's dreaming. Not another Lucas Child segment, please. Wake up, Marcus. It's time. I don't trust anybody who sleeps in their glasses. Hurry up. We don't have much time. Are you sure you want to go, Lucas? It could be dangerous. We have to go in there ready for anything, Marcus, right? Maybe there'll be an alien spaceship inside, or the tomb of an ancient king, and all of his treasure. Or a giant frozen dinosaur? And what if it's a secret weapon to take over the world? Come on, let's hurry. The hangar's gonna be well guarded. We better get going if we don't want mom and dad to catch us. Oh good. A well guarded hangar. Don't forget the Naruto run. Don't move or I'll shoot! <laughs> we, what the hell are you doing out here in this Wasted hour? literally no time. You're crazy, Lucas. We're lucky that he let us go. But if he catches us again, they're gonna beat our butts. You do what you want, Marcus. I'm going back. This is the, the great escape. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Don't move or I'll shoot. Don't shoot, sir. We're just kids. We're the cane boys. What the hell are you doing out here at this hour? Get back to your home immediately. I beg you. Don't move or I'll shoot. You love don't move or I'll shoot. Wait till you see. Don't move or I'll shoot. Yo, checkpoint. The only way to get to the hangar without being seen is to climb up the telephone pole and hang off of the cable. Impossible. Um, that pole is right under the guard's nose. I know, but there's no other way. It's right under the guard's nose. Because he's, uh, Meanwhile, 
300 no, feet I'm tall. Okay. I'll try to set it up so you have enough time. Okay, but how are you gonna get in? I'll meet you back at the house. You tell me everything when you get back. I gotta be honest, I didn't Is really that follow that. Know for sure whether there's a flying saucer in that hangar. Let's see them aliens, Marcus! It's a very bold uh, decision, by the way. <laughs> it's all up to you, Lucas. It's a very bold decision to have the child. Oh, I know we have to unfold hey, the movement here. Why do you think you're doing that? <laughs> I'm looking for my cat, sir. To have the he child's voice the just be an adult. He was on the garbage, but then he got away before I could grab him. You're one of the cane boys, right? Head on home, son. Which one are you, Kane or the Undertaker? Alone at this hour. By the way, oh, <laughs> my cancer. word. We'll find him tomorrow. Right now, you go on back home. This is absolutely incredible. Actually, the most agile child in human history. <laughs> He's. <laughs> He's moving so fast. Can you just... Oh, his hands! <laughs> his hands! Are you okay? Uh, the splinters, man. But, uh... Can you just touch a telephone pole? Don't move or I'll shoot. Yeah, don't move or I'll shoot. Okay. What the hell are you doing out here at this... No game is perfect, but Indigo Prophecy will be the standard bearer for a future generation of adventure games and would be a great candidate for a feature film! It begs to be played, understood, and obsessed over by all gamers. Look. Was it 2005? 2005 was a different era, man. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine being like a real film critic and watching a movie a, a, a 150 minute feature film based on Indigo Prophecy <laughs> this is not what I expected to be honest <laughs> you can just pull it open Oh, it must be the one with the fresh uh, flowers on top of it. Beautiful. She was a good person. She didn't have anything to do with all of this. Lucas? Oh! Stop or I'll shoot! You didn't come here to arrest me. You know that I'm not the one responsible for all of those murders. Oh, yeah? And what makes you say that? I hear your thoughts. I know that this case has disturbed you enough to make you listen to- Uh, I don't know if anything could make me ready enough for this. Great! It's weird. No steam comes out of his mouth when he talks, like his breath was already cold. <laughs> well then, who is the real killer? I don't know his name. I don't even know if there's anyone alive who does. All that I do know is that he's a Mayan oracle who has the power <laughs> to erase all memory of his existence from anyone who sees him. Um, yeah, why? Why does he want to kill all of these people? He's using the ritual to find a little girl, the indigo child. Why does he want this little girl? I'm not sure. All I know is that the child is very special and that the fate <laughs> of humanity depends on her. It's called storytelling, Oracle isn't sweetheart. isn't acting alone, is he? He belongs to a secret clan who have united the most powerful beings on Earth. Their power has no limit, and they'll do anything to get the Indigo Child. It's a council of you people who have never seen an episode clan? of Game of Thrones. You already know about them? I went to see one of the murderers in an asylum. He talked about the Orange Get clan. ready. Nailed it. Oh, this is just unbelievable. But his story is consistent. It seems to fit with what I already know. It's just that easy. How did you learn all of this? I just know, that's all. The question oh, is whether his story what I checks out. I just know, okay? The question is, 
Are you going to help me? Yeah, I mean, I have to see where this goes. Help you? Why should I help you? For the same reason that you agreed to come here this morning without alerting anyone. Because you know I'm telling the truth. Because if we don't do something quickly, the cinematography the will cover the entire planet and there won't be tomorrow. And even if you're right, what can we do about it? Nobody's gonna believe all this. And if the Oracle really has all these powers, what can we do to stop him? Find the Indigo Child before he does, and hide her someplace safe. Do you know where she is? The most trusting police yet, officer in history. But I'll find her. I see through the eyes of the Oracle during his visions. If he sees her, I'll see her. Oh, this is just insane. I cannot believe I'm actually sitting here talking about saving the world with a fugitive wanted by every police department in the country. Me neither, you're to be to honest. choose which side you're on. You can arrest me, or you can trust me and help me save the child. But you must decide... I gotta, I gotta trust you. Much time. Can I do it again? So, either you're crazy, or you're some kind of hero. Neither one nor the other. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm ready. His hand. It's as cold Handshake as executed with impunity. Oh, I'm ready. See, other games, they would just tell the story. That's dumb, dude. Indigo Prophecy lets you really immerse yourself in the action by constantly playing a bastardized version of Simon in order to truly engross yourself in the events happening on the screen. What? This, this has to be a dream sequence. I don't believe it. It must be a dream sequence. It's not a dream sequence. Here we are. Are you sure you know what you're doing? The Oracle's seen the child, just like I did. He'll be here to find her. It's minus 55. Wait for me here. Give him your I jacket, Carla! My man's wearing no jeans and loafers. I've got to find that girl before the Oracle does. You can't go in. Oh! <laughs> seen you in my dreams you have to come with me we have to leave here right now did they have to write the end of this game in like 30 minutes not here before they release the game <laughs> I've seen you in my dreams you have to come with me so I see you're still alive I don't know how you managed it but that's of no importance now Give me the child, and I will grant you a rapid death. If you take her to the ones you serve, they'll use her to make slaves out of the entire human race. This is Malf's writing. Concern of yours. You'll be dead before that comes to pass. Give me the child. I don't have time to play with you. Go out the window. The window. The emergency exit. Screw. I've done it. Oh. <laughs> I'm leaving you here. You mustn't move, understand? I'll be back soon to get you. I hope. Oh. It's oh, we're fighting. Please let me know <laughs> what happens. I can't see. Oh my god. You know, in an Isaac episode recently, I talked about the enduring legacy that The Matrix had when it came out. 
If you didn't believe me, and you, you know, you weren't like of uh, adult mind in like the mid and early 2000s, this should really give you some kind of a, a baseline of how popular both The Matrix and Dragon Ball Z were about 15 years ago. He ran straight up the freaking telephone pole. This is absolutely unbelievable. This is written by an adult. I just, I, like, I'm, I'm honestly rendered speechless. Partly because I'm in the middle of inputting 15 directions per second. And also because I just can't believe what I'm seeing on the screen. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just absolutely unbelievable. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. <laughs> He's punching the bricks away, dude. Oh, my word. He's so he's the one. <laughs> oh, little fever for the flavor on that one. They neutralized his energy with an equal and opposite energy blast. Wow, he's making it look easy. This is embarrassing. So, how many of these? Oh, okay, I got hit on that one. Don't make me do this again. I'm begging you. It never ends. Hitting all the prompts and getting my ass absolutely beaten. <laughs> oh my god. Thank god I had a full bar. Yo, the, the little girl's gonna save me. It's the only explanation. Got him. It's the police. Uh, it's the bad police, too. It's the good police? It's the... I can't get over the fact that it's the exact move that the dragon god does. <gasps> Oh, that's where my story ends. That's how my story ends. Oh my god. This is the whole freaking thing over again. That's good enough. What? Well. That's how my story ends. Well, I see where Chris Nolan got a lot of his uh, inspiration for Inception. <laughs> He's doing it. Went into the Shadow Realm. He's done it! The perfect crime. You found the child. Uh, Agatha. Humanity is fate for the next ten years. I know it's not great, but uh, it's rent controlled. Child, a new golden age, peace and security, or the reign of ice, of terror and death. We were right to 
have chosen you. Um, manipulate? You. You've been using me from the start, haven't you? You manipulated me so I'd find the girl for you. Manipulated isn't really the word. Let's say guided. We intervened <laughs> to protect you because we she's knew a, you could be. She's an otherworldly spirit, but also very concerned you're with not semantics. You're really Agatha, are you? No, you're right. And poor Agatha died in her apartment. We've simply borrowed her physical appearance to allow us to communicate. This with a lot of quotation marks. What happened at the amusement park? I don't remember anything after the roller coaster collapsed. You didn't survive the fall. We found your body and we resuscitated you. The truth is that you are dead, Lucas. You brought me back? We have certain expertise that may surprise you. <laughs> Bringing you back to life was nothing exceptional for us. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, underestimate your powers. And you succeeded. Now we can put her in a safe place. You've accomplished your mission well. I refuse. No, I don't trust you. Jade stays... Jade? You're committing a fatal error, Lucas. I'm going to have to eliminate you. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? Oh, I forgot one small detail. When we brought you back to life, we added a module within your cortex. <laughs> it's... it's impossible to kill you, as you are already dead. I can, however, annihilate you. A simple touch from me, and you will be erased forever. Of course. There's no use trying to resist. I have control of you now. I'm ready. But I'm beating it! Oh! <laughs> I'm sure the manhole cover is gonna stop uh, whatever the heck this is. <laughs> that's that's the NYPD, by the way. This goes some places in the third act. Dude, it would not be a David game without some kind of secret base. You can't give me sensory overload like that, and then, like, not give me some exposition or, like, some... At least a conversation right now. There's, like, the vacuum of space has just sucked up all the story. David, what's happening? Welcome to the Camp of the Invisibles, Lucas. Come and take a seat by the fire. Okay. I'm very eager to see what happens here. This is the payoff. You call yourself the Invisibles? Many of us are homeless. Always hey, what are you gonna do? No Have you seen the price of rent these days? Yikes! To see without being seen. And pursue our mission without attracting attention. There's another clan besides the Orange Clan, isn't there? The thing that took on Agatha's form wanted the child, too. Yeah, we've only recently become aware of the Purple Clan. The Purple Clan. We know almost nothing about them. We suspect that some AIs acquired a sort of consciousness using the net during the 80s. Naturally. They want the Indigo child in order to become the dominant life form on the planet. First the dinosaurs. And man, now, artificial intelligence. Now what? That is pretty much what I'm thinking. What do you know about the Chroma? 
It's a natural energy force. Like gravity or magnetism, but it is infinitely more powerful. This force is in you, Lucas. And you've only discovered the smallest part of it. I want to hear every line that you have. Why has the Oracle committed all those murders? The prophecy announced the coming of the Indigo Child, but didn't specify when or where she would be born. That's why the Oracle did the ritual sacrifices, in order to touch the wave and listen for the coming of the child. Of course. It's, it's self-explanatory. is really behind the Orange Clan. Nobody knows for sure. It's said that there are This is one of those story beats you gotta stand up for. Administration, police, army, finance, the media. They control everything. Over the centuries, the Orange Clan has built an empire that runs the entire world. What is the message of the prophecy? It announces the birth of the <laughs> Boy, <laughs> sorry is sciatica, you know? Have the answer to all questions. And the one who hears her message will have access to infinite power. But if the child has not been heard before the final countdown, humanity will cease to exist. So, what do we do now? We must bring you know, the it's just the bench I It's minus 55. It's cold. That's where she'll deliver her message and complete the prophecy. Where do we find this chromosaurus? There are only three known to exist on the planet. The closest could be found on an old military base. Is this where Washita. Lucas grew up? Washita? That's where I was born. My parents were scientists. They were working for the government. Yeah, and that explains many things. In the 50s, an artifact was discovered that was not of human origin. It turned out to be a chroma source. We must bring the indigo child there as quickly as possible, before she wastes away and dies without having delivered her message. When do we leave? Right now. In two oh, hours. Sorry. The time it'll take to finish preparations on your vehicle and to find you enough gasoline. It seems likely that the orange and purple clans will be waiting for you at Wishita. They will stop at nothing to prevent you from uniting the child with the artifact. We will take care of the child. And give but what if these guys are like, hang on. There are you know, the maroon the clan? There. I suggest you get some rest before you have to. Leave. I don't want. To, what if these guys can combine with Tomorrow, the child and then it's another, you know, apocalyptic scenario? Being carried is hard work. I don't even want to know. I don't trust David, okay? Like, I think there is a very realistic chance that this is going to lead to an 18 plus moment. Still not asleep? No, I can't seem to relax. It's hard to believe that it's all going to end tomorrow, isn't it? The fields, the forests, the cities. Everything will disappear under the ice. And what's going to happen to us? It'll be like we never existed, like like nothing important ever happened. Are you afraid to die? Say it. Not anymore. If we're both going to die tomorrow, I want you to know something. I, I'm sorry that we didn't meet under better circumstances. Maybe if things had turned out differently. Just at no point has there been any chemistry between these two except for the fact that they happen to be Frozen. of the opposite sex. Your lips are like ice. I love you, Lucas. You what? <laughs> All right, uh. Is, there are there is a little nudity on the screen. Um, they they are 
they're doing, uh, you know, when a zombie and a human woman fall in love, uh... As... Uh, he, he really rendered the whole thing. They're still going. I can't fathom writing a review of this game. Seeing this scene that I'm seeing right now and being like, Oh, this is this is a new standard for mature narrative. Hold on, I gotta turn on my air conditioning. It's getting a little hot in here. Well, they got the Ark of the Covenant the in there. Was going to burn, John. I'm sure of it. But he wasn't the one who started the fire. John McCarthy, Look, Richard Mary, Nixon, Stephen Baker, possible, and you know it. Nobody can see things before they happen. That artifact emitted a kind of radiation that we still don't understand. Maybe it changed something in Lucas. That's nonsense. We analyzed everybody who ever came near that thing, and they all checked out fine. We hit him with the, the analyzer. Thing, if it was the artifact, then we'd all be radiated, and we'd all There's have power. There's a difference, powered. John. I was pregnant with Lucas when I went for the first time. Lucas was radiated by the artifact when he was still in the womb. This is just ridiculous, Mary. I've heard enough. I'm going to take a walk while you calm down. Lucas? <laughs> what are you doing there? Lucas? Lucas? Now, I'm waiting on a new character to appear. Maybe he's the... I was going to say the head scientist in this lab. And he's going to explain the Purple Clan's motivations. Thousand years. For two thousand years I've been awaiting this moment. The moment when the mystery is revealed to me. The answer to all questions. And it's you who brought me the Indigo Child. What an ironic... Oh, you take her. She's heavy. The Orange Clan will make slaves of all humanity. They have the secret. What difference does that make? We already control the world, Lucas. The child will give us ultimate power. Two exclamation marks, huh? Of the gods. I'll never give you the child. Your tiny role is finished. You can now disappear from the game. We thank you for all that you. That's David done speaking to the player. At least I can actually watch this one. Oh, never mind. Here we go. Oh, diamond cutter! Huh? Huh? I cannot wait to see what happens when Lucas reaches a hundred percent of his power. We're almost there. This guy is truly terrible at his job, just for the record. He's done it! What do you mean, get ready? I've, I've achieved maximum power. Oh. <laughs> Magic missile? Magic missile? Magic missile? He... He, uh, he fell in the portal. The portal to somewhere? The, the cauldron of green goo? I don't really know what that is. Might just be chilly for the potluck dinner. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you are even more lost than it than we had thought, human. But the game is over. Get it? You and your race have lost. Your inferior species will disappear like the dinosaurs before you. Yeah, you made that metaphor already. Will be the new dominant race on this planet. 
Thanks to the secret of the child, we will know all. We will be more powerful than gods. Than gods. I'm too strong now. You can't stop me. Great! <laughs> it's, it is not like this. Great! It's anti-computer technology. Hit him with the malware bites. Oh, you've injected the, the inverted source code into my binary library. Oh, it's just that easy. Put her on the cosmic kidney bean. She'll say like, be sure to drink your Ovaltine. It's the end of Lost in Translation. Get another TKO. This just ends. It can't. There's got to be a moment where somehow Lucas and Carla try to live a, a normal life. That goes well. That's how my story the cold ends. Went away just like it had come, in silence, as if the indigo child had turned the hourglass by delivering her message. Everything was just as it was before. I guess that means the lesser evil. The Oracle and the Orange Clan went back to their places of power in the secret government of the world. And the Purple Clan went back to haunting us on the net. <laughs> I should be happy, I guess. I've been living with Carla for three months. Yes. She's the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. Yesterday, she told me that she's pregnant. Must have been that night in Bogart's underground base. That means that our child was radiated by the chrome at Rashida. Just like I was in my mother's womb. I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm the one and only keeper of the greatest secret in the universe. What should I do with all that power? Forget it? Put it in the service of humanity? I've never dreamt about being a god. I just want to live my life like anybody else with my wife and my child. I'm afraid that destiny might have another path in mind for me. What are you thinking about, Luke? Oh, nothing. Oh, nothing. <laughs> Yeah, what happened to Tyler, dude? I can't! That's Santa Monica by freaking Theory of a Dead Man, dude! You're gonna give me Content ID match! That's like one of the biggest songs of 2005! I had to turn the music all the way down to zero. <laughs> oh my word. That's, uh... That's without a doubt... I think the the absolute most insane plot I think I've ever seen in my entire life. The last hour contained two, well, three really super matrixy sort of uh, fight scenes. Uh, we snuck into Area Fifty One, got irradiated by a chroma source. Also, we were irradiated by a chroma source in the womb. And then we died, came back to life because we got resurrected by the Purple Clan, which, of course, are artificial intelligences bent on getting the power greater than gods. We got a module embedded in our cerebral cortex that made it impossible to die. Impregnated... The cop who was investigating us for murder with another baby that was irradiated by the chroma source 
It's just unbelievable. That is the saddest special thanks of my entire life. I actually feel horrible for the fact that I've made fun of this game. Now that it says special thanks to my son Quentin for all the hours, evenings, weekends, and holidays we have not spent together. I promise I will never let that happen again. That's actually... That's actually really, really sad. Crazy ideas! You can definitely, you get a little bit of a feeling for, uh, for, like, it's the genesis of David, you know? It's got a lot of the things that you see in David's later games. Like, AI rising to prominence is obviously there. There's always, like, a relationship between a parent and a child, or, like, an adopted parent and a child. There's always some kind of Illuminati stuff happening, like, uh, you know, Beyond had it with the the underground secret Chinese military base. There's always, like, some kind of supernatural, like, supernatural hobos or, you know, Native American people can travel to the spirit realm. You know, there, there's always an element of the supernatural for sure. Weather also always plays a big role. There's always a lot of weather. The pissing, I can't deny that. And of course, also, um, it, it, this is happening in multiple David games now. But uh, the main female lead and the male lead will always at least have intercourse, if not fall in love. And it will be completely undeserved. Like, to be honest... What's insane is that this makes Detroit look like a subtle social commentary. Whereas, you know, when I played it at the time, I was like, this is the most in-your-face fa in piece of media I've ever seen in my entire life. Now I'm like, oh, this was, he was restrained. It's, over. it's not over, it's not a proprietary piece of media. Uh, for the world excluding Canada? Pardon me, David? Look at how much Theory of a Dead Man is on the soundtrack. You should never trust uh, any creative professional who likes Theory of a Dead Man this much. That's a very simple rule. Yes, love TKO and sandpaper kisses. So somebody said, buy the dance. Oh, just play? Hidden dance floor? Oh, it's in movies. guy that's david cage you can't do that david that's david you're gonna get canceled this is like at the end of a, a really intense play when all the actors come out and uh like take a bow together when like 15 minutes ago, they were, you know, killing each other. It feels very bizarre. Just the best, the best term for this is, is it's very bizarre. Accursed is also a great way to describe it. It's like, hey, you just watched Pulp Fiction. Stick around for the blooper reel. Oh, you shot Marvin's freaking head off. Cut with line. I should just hit watch. Why do I hit play? Hey. Hang it up. That kid has amazing form. It's actually Apollo Ono. How did I miss this? Oh! It's actually like a quintuple axle. Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty impressive move. I gotta say, she's getting real close to everybody else on the rink, though. It's a little selfish. Like, she could have just cut that kid's femoral artery. We're still going, huh? Like, is she an ex-professional figure skater? This is incredible. Oh, watch out! Alright, now, just... In its own way, that's pretty impressive. Failed? Yeah. We have fun. I got- I gotta see them all. I gotta see absolutely every single one of these. Or do I? Could it be a picture in my mind? I'm not sure exactly what I'll find. <laughs> I'm not on the table. There's another place, another time. Touching many hearts along the way. Yeah. Hoping that I'll never have to say it's just an illusion. Illusion. I don't ever want to see that face again. Don't worry, I, I've, I've got my... The, the overlay trigger is ready to go. As soon as she puts her hand on, you know, one of the straps of her dress. This, I, I'm telling you, there's a very high chance this gets muted. This seems like a J.C. Shazay uh, solo track. So this just goes on, like, forever, apparently. Guillaume, if I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, get Sam's dance on my desk by 4.30 p.m. tonight or your ass is out of here. <laughs> oh, no. I... <laughs> I do... Can I just show you this, this cursed scene? Why? Where did it go? I can't click on it. I can't click on it again. I'll just do it for a second. That did you see his face? His eye was poking out. Okay, I mean, yeah, yeah, she's naked. They're doing like the Austin Powers thing where they obscure your view with like furniture and stuff, but now she's just like naked as well. Yeah, and she's got a she's got a full bush, which you know there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, someone had to model that. Man, we still have so many bonus points, too. That man was upside down. <laughs> it's a Mario Maker level. of Takeo. Yeah, sure. Let's let's buy this. I 
I spent my bonus points on that. This is like 5p. Lucas is in danger. I've got no other choice. <laughs> Six degrees of freedom. Remember those guys? Yep. <clears throat> I mean, it is it's staggering how much work goes into a video game. The human sacrifice. What was that noise? So, you see, was your last chicken risen? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation. <laughs> what brings you here, young man? Tell me, what is your cage? <laughs> I like your face. First, then can be perceived by the naked eye. All right. It's a heck of a teaser. I like. He didn't have to get dressed up just to come into work, brother. There is an extremely powerful early 2000s energy radiating from this picture. Point out Tyler's voice actor. I don't see him. You know how I know it's, uh, it's from the early 2000s? This little outfit right here. The open collared white shirt with any kind of neckwear. This is what everybody looked like between the year 2001 and 2006. Which one of them is? It? Someone said False Dan. I kind of think this guy's got a little bit more of a Giesling vibe. I don't even want to. This is another 2000s. Uh, piece of facial hair here this do, it, this doesn't look like Dan at all he's just wearing a red a red polo fleece he does kind of look like Dennis Reynolds I'll give you that you know I gotta say out of everybody in the photo David has the he's got the right style I mean the khakis are a little baggy but you know it's kind of a timeless simple look plus and look at the swag with the arms crossed like yeah I run the show here Now, this is another great look with the thumbs in the pockets, but now we're getting a little bit too personal. But, like, any photo of me taken in this uh, era, I look exactly the same. Like, I'm this guy right here. So, you know, it's a pot calling the kettle black situation. And probably photos of me from, like, the last few years. In ten years, you'll look at them and be like, what's up with that? Anyway. Well, that's that. What a, what a game. Um, new movie. <laughs> I, w I would never. Yo, man, open up. Yo! Open up, man. What do you want, man? My girl just caught me. You let her catch you? I don't know how I let this happen. With who? The girl next door, you know. Man! I don't know what to do. Say it wasn't you! Alright. Honey came in, she caught me red and did creeping with the girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could I forget that I had given her an extra key? All this time she was standing there, she never took her eyes off me. Why are you fighting me? I want to light up your life. Let's pass her and a witness for the king of pillar. You better watch your back before she turned into a killer. Let's review the situation. You get caught in a to be a true player. I don't know how to play. If she say it like a bitch, I say it every day. Never been to a world when she say, say, say. And she claims I will, you tell her, baby, no way. 
But she caught me on the counter. Wasn't me. Saw me banging on the sofa. Wasn't me. I even had her in the shower. Wasn't me. She even caught me on camera. Wasn't me. Saw the marks on my shoulder. Wasn't me. Heard the words that I told her. Wasn't me. Heard the scream getting louder. Wasn't me. She stayed until it was over. I need to find the low part. Yeah, she caught me red-handed, creeping with the girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. I had tried to keep her from what she was about to see. Why should she believe me when I told her it wasn't me? From the past, a little older than it is to know a low five ass. Quick fun, you to know how to talk. But if you ask a gun, you know you better run fast. But she cut me on the counter. Buzzing me. Saw me banging on the sofa. Buzzing me. I even had her in the shower. Buzzing me. <laughs> Someone Buzzing said these. <laughs> it's like Batman on drugs. Me. It got me so Buzzing good. Buzzing me. She stayed until it was over. It's on me. Honey came in and she got me red-handed, creeping with the girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could I forget that I had given her an extra key? All this time she was standing there, she never took her eyes off me. Gonna tell her that I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. I've been listening to your reason, it makes no sense at all. We could tell her that I'm sorry for the pain that I've caused. You may think that you're a player, but you're completely lost in swashing. Honey came in and she caught me red-handed, creeping with the girl next door. Picture this, we were both butt naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could I forget that I had given her an extra key? All this time she was standing there, she never took her eyes off me. That was incredible sips, thank you. I was hoping I would have one shaggy part, though. Turns out it didn't matter too much whether or not I could do the shaggy voice or not. <laughs>